Attention comedy musicians and comedy music fans, the Logan Awards are taking open nominations for outstanding comedy songs and videos released last year for this year's awards. Did you release a comedy song or music video in 2022, or have a favorite comedy song or video that was released then? Then nominated for the Logan Awards today. The Logan Awards are essentially the Comedy Music Awards, sponsored annually by the Funny Music Project and are presented in three categories. Outstanding Original Comedy Song, Outstanding Parody Song, and Outstanding Comedy Music Video. If you have a comedy song that was released in 2022, that you'd like to nominate for 2023's awards, head to loganawards.com and click the nominations tab at the top. There is a minimum and maximum of five nominations per person. Hurry, nominations close this year on June 30th. For more details about Logan himself, the awards, and more, check out loganawards.com. Help us commemorate the year's best comedy songs and music videos with a trophy, the way they do with every other form of entertainment. But if you want your favorites to win, you have to nominate them by June 30th. Get your nominations in now at loganawards.com, brought to you by the Com. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane E, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what this is, and that's what I do, and that's why you're here, and that's what it's all about. Uh, whatever. Uh, this week I am reacting to a song by Devo Spice, a good friend of mine, his Yosemite Sam rap song, Yo Sam. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, yes, hello, I'm a comedy musician, and I react to comedy music from the perspective of somebody who does the same thing. What this means to you is that I'm going to pause the song, kind of a lot actually, mainly so that I'm not talking over jokes and missing the next punchline, but also so that I can discuss the song, sometimes how it works with the videos, sometimes I'm dissecting jokes, and talking about the analysis between how the joke works with the video, Tons of stuff like that. Sometimes I'm even explaining jokes because people seem to like that. And sometimes it just means sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you do like this sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early. That's right, like I said, comedy musician myself. You get all sorts of other cool things like that, too. Anyway, let us dive into this song. This is a brand new song, just came out a few days ago, uh, which means that it is not eligible for the Logan Awards this year, but next year's awards it is. By the way, speaking of the Logan Awards, if you saw the ad before this video, yes, the Lo today, Friday, June 30th, is the last day to get your nominations in for the Logan Awards. They are the Comedy Music Awards. If you uh, have a favorite comedy music song or comedy music video that came out last year, 2022, it is eligible for this year's awards. Go ahead and go to loganawards.com and nominate it. ASAP, because uh, the, the website shuts down, the nominations portion of the website shuts down uh, after the 30th. Uh, but all of that out of the way to say, uh, Diva Spice, if you're not familiar with him, uh, is one of the people who heads up the FUMP, or the Funny Music Project, who hosts FUMP Fest, uh, which is a annual convention slash music festival of comedy musicians that I host. Uh, I'm the MC of every year. Uh, I've performed at it off and on uh, since its inception in 2014. Uh, and this year it will be held at uh, Con on the Cobb in Ohio on the weekend of October 5th to 8th. Um, I think fifth, maybe 5th to 9th. 5th is a Thursday, so the 5th to the Sunday. Um, October, Con on the Cobb. There's information at FumpFest.com or ConInTheCob.com, all that information. Ogden Edsel, a great Dr. Demento show group, uh, will be our guest of honor there. Uh, we have great acts performing there. But Diva Spice is the guy who runs the Fump, runs FumpFest, and uh, kind of was a mentor to me uh, doing comedy music. When I first started doing comedy music uh, seriously, for, like, you know, putting in the time and doing it as a regular thing. I had kind of dabbled with it in high school and college, but when I started to, like, you know, actually work on putting out an album, uh, Devo and the great Luke Ski were both uh, instrumental in me getting acclimated to the comedy music community that we have through the FUMP and through things like that and the various conventions that the FUMP performers perform at. And uh, Devo kind of took me under his wing, unofficially, didn't really, like, you know, 
make a point to do that, but they really saw something, Devo and Luke really saw something in me that kind of pushed me forward uh, with choosing to do this as a career kind of thing. So, you know, I'm always thankful for what Devo has done, and I always appreciate the new things when he puts stuff out. Uh, like I said, this is a brand new song. Basically, for this song, this is a long intro, I'm sorry. Uh, for this song, he has said that this is uh, was inspired by somebody on YouTube just taking a Looney Tunes cartoon and just editing it down to just the Yosemite Sam swears, and him thinking that would be just fun to put to a rap beat, and then just kind of building from that. Uh, and the rap beat is the Looney Tunes theme song to a beat. Comedy music, it can be anything. So, uh, I... Ju to preface everything, I actually have heard this song once already, um, but I saw there was a music video, gives me an opportunity to react to something. So anyway, yeah, long intro. I had things to say. Here we go. I always love his effects with stuff like that, too. I mean, it's it's a decent Yosemite Sam impression, too. So, and I, I appreciate having the subtitles, because Yosemite Sam, Rassafracken, that's the only thing I ever remember from, from Yosemite, Yosemite, Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam swearing is always Rassafracken Brackaracka is all, that's usually what I hear in my head. But there's been, like, so many instances of him... Lily livered, all the things you weird Western quotables. Well, for any of you get any ideas, you better understand that who I be. I'm the hoopinist, tootinist, shootinist, bobtail, all brave past the gun, you're darn tootinist. You're darn tootinist. You're darn tooting. Darn tootinist to rhyme with a hootinist, shootinist. Uh, and apparently, this might be a direct quote from this cartoon because it seems to fit the uh, animation pretty damn well. <laughs> My oil rig is the pollutantist. That's not something to brag about, but this is Texas. He's from Texas. That's so yeah, it's a thing. You ain't no match for me. You dang glass and ordinary, no account, long and varmint. Whether I'm dressed in Viking, pirate, Roman, or old with garments. That's true. A Yosemite Sam, given the the whatever the cartoon was about, Yosemite Sam always talking like Yosemite Sam. So if he was in a Viking or a pirate outfit, he didn't have a Viking or pirate accent. He just sounded like Yosemite Sam. Cartoons, man, they're weird. I love them. They fear my name all across the land Cause my name is Yosemite Sam Dun 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 <laughs> And it's, it's just clips from the cartoon, so it's just a clip video, um, but still, uh, you know, it's quality because you're singing about a cartoon. Like, a lot of anime videos are kind of the same. It's clips, but they sometimes have, like, contextual ways to showcase the lyrics in the text on the screen. But uh, this is still... I mean, you're, if you're going old school with these Looney Tunes cartoons from, like, the 40s, 50s, 60s, stuff like that, uh, you're going to you know, be contextual with just the subtitles instead of anything super fancy or anything like that. And also, it doesn't need to be super fancy. You're talking about Yosemite Sam. It's, yeah. Cut in the deck. I remember that. And, and uh, roughness, toughness, I've had enough of this. Really great rhymes in this one. I'm sorry, what? Dang long yigaloo, X up, I've had enough of this bladder splat My bladder splatten razapat hat is all that. Try saying that three times fast. Holy crap. Devo Spice is a redhead. If he grows the mustache out, he could cosplay as Yosemite Sam to do this song. I'd actually like to see that, Devo. Yeah. Hurricane y'all better keep back to the blast any creator that tangled with me. Got a pair of six shooters in my hand on the land and a cannon and I'm out in the sea. 
Whoops. Dirty Fratten Pratten. And it's another one that sounds very much like how he swears in the cartoon. You know what? Considering the amount of research I know Devo probably did for that, it's probably in incredibly accurate. Because you know where you're going to go. There's a shot of H-E double hockey sticks, as Bugs would say. I speak my mind and stuff to cross your line. And Whoops. when I say whoa, I mean whoa. I That's another direct lift from the cartoon. Uh, I steps across your line. Bugs kept taunting him to step across the line. And it worked his way up to a d high dive. I bet you won't st step across this line. And then he puts one right at the edge of the diving board. And Yosemite, of course, uh, walks across it falls into the water again, and uh, he's on the camel in the different cartoon telling it to whoa, it won't stop, it won't slow down. He runs in front of it. When I say whoa, I mean whoa, and uh, commits animal abuse, but still, it's a cartoon. It's not real animals, and also, it was a weird time. Uh, but yeah, uh, very accurate representations and like direct pulls from certain shows. Speaks my mind. I, I love that it's the actual Looney Tunes theme song, like remade, but done with a beat. I'll lead you into the lion's den while I follow the map to the treasure. Ahoy there, you push wacky barracuda, I'm the toughest hombre ever. Sam with a with a burglar mask, a robber mask, in a rare instance. So all you skunks, get out of here. Or maybe not. An old woman. That's... Also funny. So all you skunks, get out of here. An actual skunk leaves. It's very funny. Um, I, I think, again, another line pulled directly from a cartoon with the follow-up gag shown in the video. Um, maybe maybe Sam did have a mask, and I've only noticed it in the profile. Because, like, looking at him straight on, he's actually wearing a mask in this shot. So maybe it's something I just never really registered in my head. While I chase an old woman around the couch. Zazlav and War, and uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm the captain of the guard and in the Zazlav and War. Zazlav and sounds like it's going to be a uh, Yosemite Sam swear, rootin' tootin', rassafrassin', Zazlavin. But Zaslav is the name of the guy who currently heads up Warner Brothers Discovery, who's been uh, getting rid of all the old shows and and you know got rid of uh, Batgirl for a tax write-off, and you know all the streaming shows are are disappearing from streaming now, and you'll never be able to find them because they never made physical copies of them. And Zaslav is the one who's. Uh, a, a lot of the writers are striking because of, because, you know, the way that he, he's treating writers and producers and all this other stuff and product, treating it as just content only and not that there are actual people there who are sweating and making these products and not getting paid fairly for them. There's a writer's strike going on, if you hadn't heard. Um, so, yeah, having that be the Zazlev and War, I didn't catch that on the first listen. That's uh, now that I'm able to see the lyrics with it, brilliant. Guard in the Zaz private war between the states, I fought for the South. <laughs> of course he did. Of course, Yosemite Sam. Dirty perker, shorka, back, flat, and port, and fill a bunker, rabbit is for the bird. That dirty perker, shorka, back. That dirty perker, shorka, bat, flatten, port, and fill a bunker. Okay. Rack of fracken, paracotta, slaughterated idiot. Rack of fracken, I've heard. Paracotta? Pa paracotta? That's, that's a thing you make house, house roofs with, right? I don't know. I could be thinking of something else. Who knows at this point? You know, somebody Sam makes up words, it sounds like, but apparently we're using actual words. Okay. Idiot and yet it's fighting words. <laughs> Brilliant. 
Brilliant. Bravo. Great stuff. Oh, there's a probably hint at what I'm going to be doing next. Uh, yeah, that was a great video. Uh, again, it's a clip video, but it doesn't need to be more than that. We don't need to see Devo Spice dressed up as Yosemite Sam to do this. Although, honestly, I'd pay good money for that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, you can support me on Patreon like these lovely folks over here. They get to see these videos early, get my music early, get their name in the credits, all sorts of other cool things, different perks for different tiers. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye. Rasa frackin' rigoraka. Sorry, pardon my French. Hi, I'm Pete. It's sure nice to meet you. I fight super villains when I'm not eating pizza. I'm just like that last guy, though my hair is much darker. My driver's license says my name is Peter B. Parker. Those starker in contrast. We're really quite alike. My gut's a little larger, but of the two, well, I'm alive. But if a girl gets kidnapped, then she turns out of van. Well, I'm another friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Thought I was alone. Not just because MJ left me.